ahead. We've got a great one on tap between the Tennessee Titans and the New England Patriots. With that, let's head on up to Foxborough. Standing by with the call at Gillette Stadium, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, I got to tell you, we envy you right now in that nice dry studio as we are at soggy and windy Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough, Mass. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Tennessee Titans. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, pleased to be with you. Unfortunately, though, Mother Nature not really cooperating, Charles. The rain coming down, it's expected to do so throughout. And whenever I talk to quarterbacks, they worry less about the rain and more about the wind. But you still have to take precautions. You still have to be prepared. The offense always feels like it has the advantage because they know where they're going when they make their cuts. The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Foxborough. This will be taken short. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. And they're led out by a guy who's done just about everything you could ever imagine to do in this league, the great Tom Brady. It's been a lot of fun watching him develop in his career. But that will to win, he's had that probably since birth, and it transmits itself throughout his entire ball club. Watching him play, it can be an absolute joy unless you're on the other team. Sony Michelle, his first carry. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. Let's discuss this offense now, and Julian Edelman, very good player. Has really developed into a terrific slot receiver, and a lot of times he would be the primary receiver. Still mad coming out of college that he's not a quarterback in the NFL. He takes it out on the opposing defenses. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Regular, regular. From the gun, it's Brady. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. The starting defense for the Titans. Terrell Casey doesn't get the attention that he deserves, but he is an absolutely terrific defensive tackle. The best player on just about any team he would play on. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Shotgun now for Brady. And that will be incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. The Patriots send out their punter. Adam Humphreys deep to return. So possession goes over here on the punt. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. They're led out by their strong-arm quarterback out of Texas A&M, and that's Ryan Tannehill. And many believe that Ryan Tannehill is ready to fulfill his promise. Been in the league a little while now, been through some ups and downs, some bumps and bruises, but the talent is evident. Can run it, can throw it, and I think now he's ready to be a great leader. Now a play fake here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And now we get a peek at the Titan offense. And this offensive line, they're going to have to be a lot better than they were right there. We certainly won't measure them just by one play. But they definitely got a big challenge ahead of them in this one. Because this defense, they love to run blitz. And they clog up the running lanes. 
So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Now Tannehill. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. A quick look here at the Patriot defense. Dante Hightower is a guy who can play the run with the best of anyone in the league, but he'll fool you a little bit in pass coverage. Not so bad there as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Not the result they were looking for there on third down. They end up taking a loss on the play. The only person happy now, the punter, gets to go out there and show mom that he gets to play in the game. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And a fair catch called for and taken right on the midfield strike. Just a 25-yard punt. Not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and ten. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. From the gun, they run with Michelle. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And he'll go down at the 28. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Brady now to throw. And he floated one out there incomplete. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Now Brady, and that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. Spotted at the left, hash this from 45. And the 11-year veteran, Bang 
sends it through, and the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right, as he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in, and had just enough to get it done. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This is taken at his four. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple Here extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. that opportunity. Uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first time. I'll try to do better here. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now the second down throw on target. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Tannehill, and he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. All start offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Ready? 18 Gator. 58. Come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. After the penalty, it's Henry. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38 yard line. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Come on, set, 50, play. Check, check, walk 54, walk 54. I got you, pump. On second and 11 now. Tannehill, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Dante Hightower coming in for the sack from his linebacker spot. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield.
So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Derrick Henry. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Second down and four. Tannehill looking middle, and it's incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. To throw is Tannehill. This will be caught by Brown. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing, our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. It kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Throwing again is Tannehill. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Jonu Smith, the tight end, is intended receiver. But now it's third down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football, complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Tannehill. He's got Smith here. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. And it bangs off the left upright and deflects away. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So he had a chance to get him on the board there, but unfortunately that big yellow metallic structure in the back of the end zone, it had other plans. And that's when we're kickers watching it the whole way saying, oh no, don't hit it. Rats. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? He said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Here's Brady. Looking sideline incomplete. 
brings up third and five. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Brady going to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? down a nice little juke move that preceded it but not much thereafter second and five after the five yard completion on first down here's Tannehill Pressure and he's gonna go down. Tannehill sacked. Kyle Van Noy in there to bury him for a loss of 11. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Here's Brett Kern now, as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that. That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Tackle made there by Camille Correa. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been all about the defense, just a lone field goal in that first half, and as a result, not too much available in terms of highlights. But that's okay. We've got a full half to go. And to bring it your way, let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half.
Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And maybe time for this offense to really hit the reset button. They were shut out in the first half, but still, they're right in this game. They certainly are. What I like about it is that you actually continue to play. You know, you just find a way to make a few plays yourself, and you noted it. Right there on the border in this game, they're not that far off. Just got to find a player or two, and they could be very happy at that point. The run there on first down gets him a yard to the 26. The veteran Jamie Collins there on the tackle. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Completes it to Davis. And he's got this way down inside of New England's 10-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 65 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Tannehill now to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. On second and goal, Tannehill. And the grab made by the tight end, Pruitt. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. is third and goal. Still looking for the first points of the game. Try to punch it in with Henry. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Titans have taken the lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. So he missed his lone field goal try, but he's got this one as that extends their lead. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Joseph now to kick this one away. 
This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll run it here. This is James White calling a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Well, that didn't appear to be a run, but he just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Neutral zone infraction, defense. So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Here's a first and 10 now after they successfully drew him off sides. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. On second down, Michelle, and they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. From the gun on third down, Brady. And that's complete. It's Watson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 32-yard line. Now they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you, push them deep, find some space, and open things up again. Being aggressive there I think will pay off for them. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Let's go, baby. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Brady. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. <laughs> Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On second down, they'll run with White. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys and continue to get upfield? 
and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Here's Brady to throw to Michelle on the screen. Fights loose. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Shotgun now for Brady. Complete to Watson, the tight end. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So now then the penalty's got them set up with a first and goal. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Read it well and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, I don't think we'll have to look very hard to find our play of the game. That was an absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. The offense has it in the red zone. Driving for the winning score. And he says, not on my watch. And that is one happy bunch on the sidelines. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Now listen, it's a team game, we know that, but where would these guys be right now, Charles, without their defense? They take over here following the turnover. Defense did it again, but on offense, they have to feel like, hey, we need to do something. You're exactly right, and you just mentioned it. The defense did it again. They bailed them out on a number of occasions in this contest. It's time for them to repay the defense at the least. Keep the ball for a while. Give those guys a break so they can catch their breath. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Again, it's Henry. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll run on first down. Henry. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. All day, all day, every day, any day. This is Henry. 
And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Brett Kern now, standing right on his own five-yard line. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Patriots take over. Brady and the Patriots now. Down 7-3. to three, Just over a minute, 40 to play. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter. about is it, winning. Is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. Uh, about winning the turnover battle. As a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog, you were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. And now a hook up downfield on second down. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. Into the red zone, it's Brady. That's complete to White. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll make it a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Check, 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 check. Hey, 66. Now Brady. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. This defense not going to lag back. They come with pressure that time, force him out of the pocket, and the incompletion. And so many times when you're watching a game, you're seeing the offense doing all the dictating. In this case, the defense said, we're dictating the terms, and turned it loose towards him. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Brady going to go on fourth down. This is caught. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final medal of the fourth. Wow. 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 I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but not. you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. That time, a six-play drive, and it ends with a New England touchdown.
Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be taken about the 12. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Back to throw. And that is incomplete here. He was looking for the running back, Derrick Henry. But it's going to be second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Tannehill. Complete. This is Lewis. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. getting nothing out of that second down completion. So now here's third and 10. On the draw, this is Lewis. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Tannehill. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Patriots are close to finishing off this football game. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Brady will take a knee here and that should just about do it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. <laughs> and it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost felt like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defenses. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old.